Hey there, Cameron. So you've been doing this really cool thing where you've been engorging and watching and reading all of the Star Wars content possible before the release of the next movie. And I was like, man, that's really cool. That's a great way to like, you know, start doing, uh, you know, getting getting into more Star Wars stuff. And but then also a reason to make videos all the time. And also like a really cool like a challenge for yourself. Well, I don't really have like, <clears throat> sorry, slowly dying, but I don't really have a, a deadline or anything I have to meet, but I do have this DC streaming service thing. And I thought, why not just watch and read and just choose things at random and just talk about them? You know, kind of like what you're doing, except without um, any sort of, you know, deadline or anything like topical and just start doing random stuff off of the streaming service because there's a lot of movies and tv shows and a whole bunch of comics on there so i thought i would start off today with batman ninja oh my god i remember seeing a trailer for this movie last year and i was like oh that's interesting that's an interesting idea uh curious to see what they're going to do with it and this movie did not disappoint it's just a lot of fun you know, it's it looks amazing. I think the biggest compliment I can give this movie is that it is just beautiful. The facial animations just have so much personality and life. And there's, you know, giant mech Voltron-like mechs. And there's just the action. Everything is so smooth and crisp. And there's this, geez, there's this moment where um, it goes into like a watercolor painting. And it's just mwah, beautiful. One of my favorite moments in the movie. Um, the story, it's, I mean, what you would expect, it's like Batman and the whole characters from Gotham get transported into feudal Japan, and so they do go with this white savior prophecy route with the story of, like, there's this clan of bat ninjas who, um, there's this prophecy that a ninja from a foreign land will come and save us, and, uh, I... I hate that kind of stuff. I It's just lazy and boring, and it's just a trope that is used far too often. It's like all because you have a a character going into a foreign, a foreign country, you know, like a predominantly white character going into a, a another, another land or whatever. It doesn't mean you have to do this white savior stuff of, oh, no, you know, this elite group of ninjas can't defeat Gotham's villain. You know, the only ones... Who can do anything about this or Batman and it's just so frustrating because this movie does so many cool and interesting things um just with the character designs and you know how they kind of update and change uh the iconography and a lot of the cool action sequences and the giant robots that I talked about earlier are super fun and exciting and you can see that the team working on this had a lot of fun uh, it reminded me a lot of Ashura's Wrath, uh, that PlayStation 3, like 360, whatever, video game. Um, but also, like, Dynasty Warriors, even though, I know Dynasty Warriors is usually predominantly of Chinese history. But it's that type of over-the-top action and over-the-topness um, about history and whatnot. And so it's like, there are so many things that make me want to like this, but the bare-bones story of it, of just that white savior prophecy stuff, just really really brings it down for me which sucks because I had such a good time until those those parts start popping up again it's really cool and interesting uh, I didn't realize the character designer for this also worked on Afro Samurai which makes a lot of sense <laughs> watching this it's just a lot of fun and very interesting it's a spectacle it's a big spectacle movie um, I think you will have a great time with it for me, it's like if I had to give it a rating, like a 3 out of 5, I had the action and the pacing and all of that stuff is really fun and exciting, but every time I got to the story, it just took me out of it because it just uh, just fell into this trope that they really didn't have to do. They didn't have to turn it into this white savior prophecy thing, but other than that, I had a really great time with it. Um, I think if you have the streaming service, definitely watch it. Give it a chance, and if not, I would... I would actually pick it up because despite the nonsense, the tropey nonsense of the story, I really think the over-the-top anime action sequences, um, 
the the art style definitely is just visually incredible especially because a lot of the dc animated movies have gone with this they have a house style you know a house style that they very much use for almost all of their movies they all look exactly the same and this looks completely different and it makes me wish that their other movies and tv shows and stuff also looked like this because it just gives more expressiveness and the action is more kinetic uh, while the style that they use for their other properties and other movies uh, can be a little stilted. But those are that's all my thoughts on Batman Ninja. I am going to be... Oh, hey Felicity. I'm a, I'm a cat. She's being, being a cat. She's being cute. Um, I'm going to be watching some other, some other stuff. And I'm also going to check out some of the catalog. Uh, I might be um, looking at the uh, Catwoman series in 2001 by uh, Edward Baker and Darwin Cook. Uh, that I've been eyeing that one, and I think I might want to start it. So, anyway, this has been, uh, I don't know, if I'll, I'll probably think of a cool name for this, like like exploring the universe or something. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk to you later, man.